Hey there, YouTube. Um, it's been a while, probably about a year and a half since I posted a video, but thought I'd do an update on this guy, the FC-170, which we've had for about a year. And yeah, it's been a great truck. I drive it at least three days a week and love it. So we're driving the FC, doing some spring cleaning, have a full load. Gonna be part of your treehouse, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you can see, it's pretty spacious. Cooling fans on right now. It kicks on at about 190. Uh, we're currently at 170. Like so. It's gonna be a grown-up treehouse. Yeah. So not really stepping on it. But as you can see, at 4.3 liters, got. Plenty of power. Original license plate, 1961 from Maryland. So there she is. That's our 1961 Willys Jeep FC 170. The 170 has got a nine foot bed where the 150, which is a little bit more common. I'm pretty sure had a five foot bed. And I got to say the nine foot bed is quite convenient. I went ahead and put these bed rails on. I made them out of uh, treated with about six coats of oil stain on top. And that's really nice for bigger loads and it looks great. They're easier to take off if need be than I even expected. But we've got two fuel cells. Pretty sure they're out of an FC 150. But spare tires are on that fuel cell on both sides and the original fuel cell location was in the back um, between the frame rails which would have come out right there that's the original color love that green went ahead and clear coated the tailgate um, I'm pretty sure those stencils would have been on the outside originally but I don't know. I think they're kind of hit or miss wherever they placed them. Um, I do like the patina on it though. So yeah, it's been a great Jeep. Really enjoy driving it. I'd say with that Vortec 4.3 and 700R4, we're getting about eh, 65, 70 miles an hour if you want to. It drives super solid. Uh, no power steering, but really no need for it. Just got to kind of think about where you're pulling into and out of from time to time. We went ahead and put a plaid interior in it. Kind of like a tan Burberry without the red. And some new carpet. I cut these floor mats up out of my wife's Jeep and those work out really well. Um, so I'm 6'5 and I still have to jump off the lockouts here to get in and out of it comfortably but uh very awesome you can see these seats are probably out of some early 2000s or 90s uh import tuner and they don't look the best but they are quite comfortable so behind the seats i built these uh deck lids i guess and under there there's quite a bit of storage space if need be um fuel selector is right behind the driver's seat and both those fuel cells work great this thing's a runner the fuel mileage is actually pretty good i'd say i'm getting around 20. um we picked this jeep up from saint dane's cabins it's a little bit south of uh moab utah and a very nice place if you're ever in the neighborhood looking for a place to uh bed down for the night i'd definitely make a point of stopping in there the owners are absolutely amazing and totally fun to be around. This guy sits quite a bit higher than it would have uh, stock. It's got a spring over um, and then three inch pucks in the back. It's level when there's not a bunch of weight in the back, but uh, yeah, it's got the original axles, uh, Spicer 53 rear and the closed knuckle uh, Dana 44 front. So that's our 1961 Jeep, 
FC 170. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, just let me know. I could do a more in-depth video and show you guys what's going on if anyone's curious. Otherwise, I think I'll be doing more videos. We've got uh, 13 Jeeps in various states of disrepair and whatnot, but we'd love to make videos on those. So if you're interested, please subscribe and thank you for your time. Enjoy.